How would you like to learn how to make $50 a day or $1,500 a month, especially right now? Right now, COVID's going on. A lot of people are inside. You've got the holidays coming up. You're going to be getting bills for that. So $50 a day or $1,500 a month could come in handy. Stick around and I'll show you how. All right, so what we're going to talk about today is nine different ways that you can make $50 a day or $1,500 a month and use that money to get out of debt for Christmas. Uh, the holidays are coming up. I know this is a time that we'd love to spend, especially since we're stuck at home. That's something that's very enjoyable. So how you need to know how to pay for it. And I've got some ways to help you with that. You might want to make some money just to, to bring in an income because you've lost your job. And these are some very easy ways. You don't have to have a lot of skills or maybe you're trying to build a YouTube channel and you want some revenue while you're working so hard building up your channel. So whatever your reason is, I've got nine different ways to help you earn some money. And I've actually used several of these. All right. What I'm going to do is chunk them into three sections. The first three ways that I'm going to show you to earn money are things that you would leave your home for. Okay. So they're outside your home. Um, the second group are things, um, actually help you get rid of stuff in your house. And I'm going to show you uh, some of the things that I've actually done and I'm still doing. And then the other three are things that you could do online if that's your preferred way or mix them up. Um, you can make money different ways. You don't have to stick with just one revenue of income. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm excited to show this to you. And in the comments below, as you're going through, tell me what your favorite way is to make some extra money. All right. The first three ways that I want to show you how to earn money are things that you can do outside your home and especially with what is going on right now in our world. A lot of people are stuck at home. Uh, people are working from home or they're trying to go to work or their kids are at home. So there's lots of situations where there's a lot of people out there in your neighborhood that need help. And the number one way that I think, especially if you're a college student or a high school student is babysitting. Babysit. Your neighbors are, like I said, some of them, the kids are home and parents can't get to work because they've got to stay home with the kids. So they may want you to even help with the kids' education online. Um, make sure that you're there as a grown up to make sure that they get online on their Zoom calls and things like that with their teacher. And the parent can then go to work and pay you to help do that. So you're really, especially, like I said, if you're a college student or a high school student, because now your time is very flexible because you are probably doing your schooling at home as well. So it's a great way for you to make some extra money. You can make 10 to $20 an hour, depending on who you're helping, what their income is and whatever you agree upon. But $10 an hour to help babysit is not bad money. And definitely something that is helping your neighbor. Another way that you can make some extra money is by walking dogs for your neighbors. Maybe you have neighbors that are elderly and maybe right now this time of year, especially with winter coming on, it's hard for them to get out and walk their pets. Or maybe parents are stuck inside trying to get everything done, their job, their kids schooling, and nobody really has that time to take the dog for a walk. So that's something that you could do that would be valuable for another family. And again, check out your neighbors, find out who they are and what their needs are. You can make up a little flyer, put it in their mailboxes and let them know what some of your services are. Think outside the box. There are other things that you could help do, but those are some um, main things that a lot of people are going to need help with right now. And the third one that I have for today, and there's lots and lots more is become an Uber driver. If you've got your driver's license, you have a good driving record, you have insurance, start driving for Uber. There's always people trying to find a ride somewhere and you can make 10 to 15 to 20 dollars an hour. It depends on where you live on what kind of pay that you would get. So what I did, just Google it, Uber drivers pay and then put your city and state in and it's going to give you an average amount that people make in your area. Now the second group of things that I want to show you, this is actually something I've done all my life and I'm still doing it. Um, being older, I've uh, become a hoarder. I know that a lot of younger kids now want to be millennials and I envy you for having that mindset of living on less. Now our curse has become our gift. <laughs> I have a house full of stuff that I've just saved. I was brought up, my parents told me, you know, save it. Somebody else might need it. And of course, remember, 
they grew up in the depression so that was the mindset that you just didn't throw things away you fixed them you kept them and you gave them to people that need them well we don't operate that way anymore so you probably i'm going to show you as well as if you're a millennial how the next three things will work for you as well if you're older or you're a i don't want to call it a hoarder that sounds so horrible but if you have treasured your belongings and now you're ready to part with them here are some ways that you three ways that you can get rid of them and make some money there's a program called poshmark.com especially if you're younger um or or older it doesn't matter but if maybe you have a lot of clothes maybe you've you just you know have lots of shoes and purses and coats and clothes and all these things and you're starting to get more of that millennial mindset that i don't need so many clothes in my closet or maybe you're just someone that likes to rotate your clothes a lot but this is a great way that you can get rid of clothes selling online and basically a lot of your name brand clothes will sell very well on here and you can get pretty good money for it better than a yard sale so definitely check out poshmark.com now ebay eBay's been around for a long time. It's a great way to sell things. I, several years ago, I moved to a new house and I needed money to help pay for some um, updates to the house. And so I sold a lot of things at that time on eBay. And that's that's probably been about 20 years ago. I had a lot of longer burger baskets and things like that. And I, I made like $4,000 in just a couple of months selling things that I had and I was able to take that money and put it back to use into the house that I had bought at the time. But it's it's really hit and miss. You've got to figure out what will sell, what won't. Now, what I typically do myself is I will go to Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace. Now, Craigslist is um, something that you can see find in your area. Um, I go to Craigslist a lot when I sell things like chickens or goats because um, you can sell livestock on Craigslist but we've also sold vehicles on there um, different pieces of farm equipment things like that now I've also gone into a lot of my into the basement and gone through a lot of boxes and I found toys that the kids used to have and they're like I don't want that junk and so I've been selling it now this is what's cool let's say you are a millennial and you're like i don't have anything to sell i don't really keep things around well this is what i advise you to do go to ebay and find something that you know might sell well and one of the things that sells really well is star wars legos let's just use that as an example because i did sell some star wars legos i had bought some for my kids um you know how you buy things ahead they were on sale well the kids grew up and i found a box of christmas presents that i never gave to them and I made like $200 on some Legos that were in the box, not opened, and I bought them on sale. Legos is, um, Legos is very popular. Star Wars is very popular. That, what you can do is maybe find a, a lot of them, which means it's a pile. Maybe somebody has a pile of toys and they don't want them. Like, here you go. Right here, it has a lot of four random Lego Star Wars minifigures. So they don't, they're not even sure what's in there. It's a mess. It's a whole bunch of stuff, right? So you could maybe get it for $25, all this stuff. And then look down here. This person found um, Star Wars clone troopers, a lot of just five for $74. Here's the point. You have to know what you're looking at, what you're selling. But in this pile of a mess up here, they call it a lot, you might find some really um, five or six that you could put together and sell for more. I just did this with Polly Pockets. I was selling Polly Pockets that we had in our home and I was getting, I didn't know they were so valuable. I was selling them on Craigslist, um, on Facebook Marketplace. And then I came here and I looked up Polly Pocket lot, whoops, not log, lot. And I actually bid on a lot and I got a whole bunch of Polly Pockets and then at home, I separated them into individual parts and got 15 and $20 a piece for them. And I spent, I probably spent 200 with taxes on the lot and I turned around and made $300 on it. So you have to know what sells. So you're gonna have to spend some time looking on Facebook Marketplace, um, what's selling, what are people buying, and then come here and see if you can buy them. I have a friend that used to buy car parts on eBay Somebody might have sold um, old car parts. They were maybe rusty looking, but he knew he knew his cars, and he would buy them, take it, take it home, go in his garage, shine them up, make them look brand new, and turn around and sell them right back on eBay again. 
you don't have to sell on eBay. Um, Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist is local, and I do really well keeping it local, and then I don't have to pay eBay a fee. So I typically buy on eBay, and then I sell on Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace. So I really gave you four things there, but you can buy and sell. If you have auctions near you, sometimes you go, go online and look at different auctions and pick up like a whole skid of something. My husband one time picked up a whole skid of those old electrical spools that people like to take them and make them into tables and paint them and things. He bought six of them. Now he bought eight of them for like $45. We kept a couple and then we sold the rest of them for like 40 bucks a piece. So think outside the box, just find things that you like that, you know, you, you know that other people might like not uh, might like as well. The thing is, okay, you might get stuck with something, then just sell it cheap and get rid of it and find something else. Great way to make money. And if you love to buy and sell, this is really actually a lot of fun. And again, I've done it all my life. I'm still doing it now, even though I'm, I'm working a full-time job and I have a channel that I'm working on in a business, I still do this on the side to get rid of things in my house and try to downsize and become more millennial-like. Now, I have three things to show you. Maybe you don't want to sell things. Maybe you don't want to get out and walk people's dogs or watch their kids. You're like, there's no way. I don't want to do any of that. This might be for you. You can do surveys. The, I'm going to show you three different sites that you can do different surveys and get paid for it. This one is called Swag Bucks and sign up, find out what the different requirements are, and you can sit there online and do surveys for different companies. There's another one called Vindel Research. And again, go in. I'm just showing you the sites, but go in, find out what the different requirements are, and you can sit and do surveys and make money. Another one is called Survey Junkie right here you probably could do these right on your phone i i would assume you don't have to do them um, online i'm showing you the desktop version another way to do um, surveys you can make anywhere from five to fifty dollars from one survey so it just depends on what kind of survey you're doing and what your agreement is now another way that you can make money if you like to be online is to become a freelancer freelancers are it's really open to whatever your gift is your talent you can go to fiverr.com i've got the link below um, that you can go right in but you can go in and and freelance yourself and what I mean by that, if you're really good at writing, I'm gonna write down writer, okay? So maybe you like to write. And you can do copywriting content, write books, rap songs. You know, what kind of writing do you do? You can see all these different areas here. A lot of people need help with blog posts. You can find other YouTubers that might say, you know what? I can send my YouTube in to rev.com or temi.com and get a transcript would you please write it into a blog for me i actually have somebody that does that for me i don't have time to sit and write but she's got all the content you know and pretty much she goes in and makes it flow real well and adds the pictures and all the links and all that stuff so it's a great way to make money and you can make anywhere from 20 30 40 dollars an hour doing this but you have to work your way up into it and show that you're reliable this person's probably starting out at five because they want to get some testimonials under their belt and then they'll um, go up from there and again you have to you know contact the people get some of their examples and things that they do but this is what people do to get money is they can become writers and that if you like to write that's something you can do um, graphic design is something else people are paid um, on YouTube you know how you have the channel art on Facebook there's that that banner people don't like to spend time designing those if you're good at that and you really enjoy it charge people 10 bucks to make them a banner or, or to make them uh, a post for Instagram or something like that. Just say $10 for the banner or $10 for the channel art and you can make some good money. Another thing that you can do, maybe you love to post on Pinterest or you love to post on Instagram. So let's see, are there people hiring themselves out for that? Pinterest. You could do that for somebody else. Um, charge a certain amount per hour and how much you're going to make per week and then hire yourself out to do that again a lot of your people that are starting out their new businesses don't have time to do every single thing that needs to be done and you're thinking you mean people will pay me to post on pinterest for them that's crazy because you love to do it or they'll pay me to post on their instagram absolutely if you're good at it and you enjoy it 
that's a great way to make some money. Obviously, like I said, you got to start out small and grow until you have some of those testimonials. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, there's other ways that you can go and try to become a freelance writer. You can Google it and find other sites, but this one seems to be a good place to get started if you want to hire yourself out. You would be an assistant to somebody. A virtual assistant is basically what you would be called, but you're they're, they're outsourcing their work and you're being hired to do it. There you go. Hopefully you can find a way to make money. Tell me down in the chat, the, the chat below, you know, the comment below. Sorry about that. I teach online and we call it a chat. So I apologize for that. But go ahead and put it in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Are there other ways that you have found that you've been able to make money on the side to help pay some of those expenses? All right. So I hope that was helpful for you. That's all I have for today. There's always lots of other ways to make money online, but I tried to uh, kind of chunk it up, like I said, to, to make sure everybody could find a way. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Let me know if you like the video and I will see you on the next video. And thank you very much 